So it's Shinobi, and this is the first episode of Shy 256. Uh, hopefully this is something that I can do a little bit more regularly, and one of the things I've been working on lately to try and make a little more content myself. But the reason I'm doing today's is, is kind of just, I, on this specific issue, um, it's something I want to get my thoughts out there without kind of a back and forth and arguing and things getting heated. So today I'm going to talk a little bit about the current allegations against Wasabi by the Samurai developers. And I'm going to kind of dig through this specific issue and then I kind of want to talk a little bit about just the wider issues between wasabi and samurai that have been going on for a little while so um first off the, this all kind of started with the wasabi team making a donation to a tour fundraiser and mingling a bunch of mixed outputs um destroying the the privacy that they'd gained going through the wasabi mix and i mean this is obvious like, you, you can't combine post-mix outputs in that way without showing a connection like that. And, I mean, it's this was a donation, a public donation. Obviously, everybody involved is aware of that consequence. But then Samurai went on to claim it was showing a fundamental flaw in Wasabi and that they were capable of de-anonymizing a large amount of, of the outputs that have been mixed through the Wasabi coordinator. And, you know, from what I'm gathering, looking at all of the, the samurai comments along the, these lines, it seems that <clears throat> they're arguing that the change outputs from a Wasabi mix are somehow degrading the anonymity of everything going through these coin joins just by being present and that shearing off this change before a coin join is somehow more private or beneficial and I really don't see the logic here at all because it's all about mapping inputs and outputs like whether you remove that change in a transaction prior to the coin join itself or just do it in the coin join transaction itself there's still the same amount of inputs and outputs involved the same ones that are gaining an anonymity set through having a common amount and whether the change is removed in that coin join transaction or prior to it, it it doesn't really have any material effect on the anonymity set there so i don't really see what they're talking about as a fundamental flaw there or what's going on but that's that does not seem accurate and I see no logic in that claim at all to say that there is a fundamental flaw in the wasabi mixing method and then point to that I think is just kind of throwing mud at a competitor and they later went on to claim that <clears throat> there is an entity de-anonymizing wasabi mixes and even went so far in some places as to claim users should demand their money back for participating in these um, flawed mixes and this is just kind of ridiculous as the most compromised air quote mix that they pointed to in the threads that I've looked at is four outputs in this chain of outputs reusing addresses in a single mix and considering that the wasabi mix um, set is usually 50 to 100 people that has really no material effect on the anonymity set in the grand scheme of things at all like people who've mixed in these rounds haven't ruined their privacy like they i don't see any call to demand money back whatsoever and it, it's not like the, this mix is completely broken. Like this is a handful of outputs in a hundred and in some cases outputs. Like that's not reducing the anonymity set in a way that's materially going to affect people. 
And moreover, two things. Um, one, this turned out to be a bug where people running the same wallet um, in different instances would run into this situation where they were reusing addresses because each instance of the software was not aware of what the other was doing. So the, this wasn't some entity trying to intentionally de-anonymize the mix, but also if it were, any type of mixing like this is subject to this type of civil attack. Like that's always possible. And just like Bitcoin itself solves the issue of civil attack with a double spend problem with proof of work by having a cost to it, there's really no tractable solution except just the fact that this is expensive to do to sw like to swarm things and like ultimately wasabi and samurai take different strategies to this like wasabi is going for the larger mix sets to hide things in and whirlpool from samurai is going towards you know the more smaller but quick and successive mix rounds to obscure things exponentially and like these are both valid strategies to deal with this type of attack but they're both open to it and i think that like the, this whole <clears throat> incident is just kind of disappointing like i am fans of both of these projects i consider people in both of these projects friends but <clears throat> this is just mudslinging at this point like going into just brand wars and it's it's silly you know, to, to kind of move along from this incident, you know, that this is not any kind of fundamental flaw in Wasabi. Like, your privacy is not automatically ruined if you have used Wasabi during any of these time periods. But, you know, when you, when you look at Wasabi and you look at Samurai, they're different projects and they've made different design decisions. Wasabi's goal from day one was to have network level anonymity covered out of the box. He concentrated on shipping Neutrino and achieving that. And prior to Neutrino had even been looking at an entirely different architecture, looking at full blocks being just downloaded in a chain as a, a pseudo node to validate things to keep the network level privacy perfect where nobody but you knows your balances. That was a conscious design decision. Samurai moved to just get out of the gate with something SPV, but have as many different tools and, and ways to spend as possible to obscure things. So that even though their server is aware of your balances, you have tools to obscure things for everybody except them. So that everybody except Samurai is fooled by using these post spend mechanisms to kind of obscure the connection on chain. And they've moved towards solving that with the release of the dojo. And although this is not a, a fix all thing, like people have to actually use it, adoption has to tick up, it's an effort and it's taking that into design consideration. And like honestly, like what I really would like to see is just the shit flinging to just stop and just realize that Wasabi and Samurai are the two projects doing the most right now to create a way to use Bitcoin privately. And all this kind of shit is doing is creating fear, uncertainty, and doubt. It's confusing people. Like the, this claim that Wasabi is flawed and people should demand their money back is not true. Now people are going to be uncertain on any of these kind of mixing mechanisms because there are two projects flinging shit at each other and attacking each other over just different design choices in some kind of brand war. And that's stupid. Like you, you Samurai and Wasabi have fundamentally different mixing design decisions. Samurai going for small, repetitive, quick, Wasabi going for bigger, uh, the, the larger crowd to hide in. Those things are never going to interact. It, it doesn't even make sense incentive-wise because that is both of their revenue model. But there are so many places where if the shit-flinging stopped, 
these two projects could collaborate and set actual standards and push other wallets to follow. Like, <clears throat> Samurai still has a lot to do on the network level of things. Like, it is a legitimate concern that even with Dojo release now, if I'm using Dojo, nobody else will, and Samurai can still figure out what my, my balance is after the mix. They can solve that by doing something like generating a post-mix wallet in the hierarchical tree above anything that their server gets and only query one transaction at a time post-mix as they're made to keep the balance current from Samurai's server using that Tor circuit for that one query and that's the only way that the wallet ever queries their server for post-mix balance because you're spending, you know it's happening, you check. And you only expose pre-mix wallets, or I mean addresses in the wallet, to receive money. So it's always funneling money into the wallet pre-mix, you mix it. And then even for people without Dojo, that balance information is not correlated to Samurai servers. You can deal with that issue. And then that puts Samurai in a much more well-rounded footing. Like, that's a lot of work and a lot of shit to re-architect, but it could be done. Wasabi already has that network-level privacy. And they've made another conscious design decision from day one to be output-centric, to really put the UTXO aspect of Bitcoin in a user's face and make them understand and have to deal with it. And I completely agree with this decision. I have always felt this way about wallets. But they could do things to help users, not take over or have any kind of fully automated coin control, but something that makes a suggestion. Like Wasabi could suggest constructing a transaction this way because it will emulate what Stonewall does in Samurai, but give me a final call in case, say, that mixes two things that, even though it's the, the least information leak, I don't want mixed. Like, I think users should always have the total final say in things like that when dealing with their Bitcoin. But, you know, having that kind of helping thing would be a nice way for Samurai to, or, I mean, Wasabi to, to go in terms of you know, fleshing out the, the other side of things that weren't their core design decisions. Or both of these wallets are our privacy wallets. Well, Samurai is integrating PayJoin. Wasabi could integrate PayJoin in a way that's compatible with Samurai so that both user bases can benefit from that under a single network effect that doesn't come into the mixing or either of their revenue. Like, there, there are places where if the, if the shit wasn't being flung back and forth, that these two projects could collaborate massively to just set standards and create that momentum where other wallets are under pressure to support things in this way. And that would be so much more productive than just this arguing, this exaggeration, this, this personal bickering over social media to have a brand war like there are much more important things to do and really i think that that's all i have to say on the topic um, i'm sure you'll hear more on the topic when we have an actual full digest episode but you know really that that's that's my last point just like stop flinging shit and get back to building things that will change shit